Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and the Denver Nuggets playoff predictions. If you guys haven't been following, I have done for now what this is my second or third year doing this, but we do a prediction and preview for both teams, the Lakers and the Nuggets. We'll tell you why these teams are good, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, how what they need to do to win the series and what they need to avoid to lose then i'll give my prediction in the last two or three minutes of the video on who i think will win but i will also say who i think will lose but still have a chance of winning like i give both teams the benefit of doubt winning like i give my prediction on who i think but i i will be like you know the other team still if they do this or this happens that they can still win this so let's get right into it and talk about it we get the lakers who fought from the play-in to the conference finals. This is a rematch from the bubble conference finals. Then you got Jokic and Jamal Murray, Aaron Gordon, Continuous Caldwell Pope, Bruce Brown, baby, Michael Porter Jr. All right. Jeff Green and Christian Brown as that's the, the the Nuggets. And let's guys, you know, I've been championing the Nuggets all year. I'm not my girlfriend's from Colorado. She went to Valor and she's from like Highlands Ranch. And I've been a Nuggets fan for you know, for the last four years since dating her. And before that, I always loved Jokic. So, I, you know, I've not been one of those people who've been like, oh, you know, the Nuggets are like, you know, over right now. I like, I think they're one of the most underappreciated teams in the league. And I have to also give the Lakers the benefit of the doubt that like Rob Palinka did an amazing job building this roster. I mean, we see LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, Dennis Schroeder, Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, you know Lonnie Walker as the main guys with a little you know Troy Brown Jr. and Malik Beasley sprinkled in there but this it, it's been it's been impressive for what the Lakers have done it's also impressive what the Nuggets have done without getting the respect you know the respect or credit they deserve so let's talk about it now let's start with the Nuggets and we'll still talk about the Lakers as well we're literally giving both sides equal opportunity now when I look at the a team like the Nuggets. You know, the starting lineup is going to be KCP, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Jokic, and Jamal Murray. Off the bench, you're going to have your sixth man, Bruce Brown, who's arguably one of if they're not their best defender. Then you're going to see some Christian Brown, another great defender. Jeff Green, a great all-around player. And that's going to be the main guys. I mean, I know we've seen a little bit of Reggie Jackson, Payne Watson, DeAndre or Jordan. Again, expect that to be limited. It's really this team's rocking with an eight-man rotation. Jeff Green and Bruce Brown go in for KCP, Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, and Aaron Gordon. I know the big argument is that they don't have a true backup center. And I don't think that even matters because in the minutes that like Jamal Murray goes off the floor, I mean, Nikola Jokic goes off the floor, Aaron Gordon or somebody else just goes and plays center and they play stretch. Now, this team is averaging 116 points a night. They're only giving up 106 right now in the playoffs. And their rim protection, you could say, is their weakest point on their defense. But this is a team that their defense is still, like, really good. And they're a great rebounding team. They're hitting the three-point shot, like, really well. I mean, they're not, like, blowing you away in the volumes. But they're being incredibly efficient at shooting as 38%. Getting to the free throw line. All around, this is a very, very even squad and for them to win this they just got to keep playing their game you know having Jokic be the cog with Jamal Murray playing off of him with Aaron Gordon playing off ball Michael Porter Jr. shooting well grabbing rebounds and again if this team can out rebound the Lakers I think this is going to be a rebounding game if they out rebound the Lakers and force the turnovers then I think this is the Nuggets and that's because they're just a very very complete roster and it'd be a disservice of me not to you know give them the credit that they rightfully deserve when you look at a situation like that now let's talk about the lakers it's going to be a lebron james anthony davis austin reeves d'angelo russell dennis schroeder rui hachimura jared vanderbilt and lonnie walker being probably the primary guys right there and for me when i look at that situation again eight man eight man rotation jared vanderbilt's going to be going bounce probably going to be bouncing around the perimeter this is going to be Jokic versus Davis. I mean, I, I want to see how Davis holds up against Jokic. I mean, you got, like, look, 
LeBron and Davis are averaging. LeBron's averaging 23 and a half a night. Davis is averaging 21 a night. You got yourself Jokic out here averaging about 30.7 a night so far in the playoffs. 26 points a night from Jamal Murray. 13 for Aaron Gordon. 14 and a half for Michael Porter Jr. 12 and a half for Bruce Brown. 10 and a half for KCP. In comparison, that's again I told you the Nuggets are averaging like 115.8 points a night while giving up like 106, while the Lakers are averaging 112 and a half and giving up 107. So again, Nuggets statistically speaking you know win the battle right there but you know the lakers have some scoring punch they got you know lebron like i said 23 and a half ad 21 and a half you got 15 and a half from both reeves and russell so far you're getting like 11 and a half from Rui. you're getting seven and a half from my man dennis schroeder and you know lock and walker over the past few games been on fire but what this team is good at they're the best rim protection team they're the best interior defense team so far this playoffs they're a team that is getting to, you know, their they are their opponent field goal percentage, which is basically like what their opponents are shooting against them, is forty two percent, which is the best in the playoffs. Like they're arguably the best defense in the league and they're probably in the playoffs. And they are prob statistically speaking, and they're probably what they're gonna do is this two layer defense that they're doing, you know, they have that Jared Vanderbilt and lebron james lonnie walker you know dennis schroeder even out there austin reeves you know the set the first layer of defense which is primer and then their second layer of defense which not you know it's they have an or they kind of have anthony davis doing this rudy go bear effect where he's a vortex and he, but he's athletic enough to make up for the plays of truly guarding one through five and i think that's where it's getting difficult for a team like, in my opinion, the Nuggets will, because I really think for the Lakers to win this, they have to contain Jokic with whatever that means. Either have him have an inefficient night, but this is really going to be Jokic versus Davis. And I think, you know, again, the Lakers sidekicks outside of LeBron Davis, Dave, you know, Reeves, Russell Schroeder, Hachimura, Lonnie Walker, whoever, Jerry Vanderbilt, all need to take turns, you know, having a good scoring night to continue to help their team be able to play well. So I think there's a lot of, you know, alter, you know, just a lot of different circumstances that aren't being incorporated so i want, I do want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section what do you guys think and why but that's going to be the video for me today guys i hope you guys did enjoy it <clears throat> i think that's it i don't know it's a, it's a it's a rather interesting situation i'm gonna take right here here we go drum roll please hmm because I don't want to bet against LeBron James just because that's like a terrible thing to do. But at the same time, I don't want to disrespect, you know, the Nuggets. Because the Nuggets, for them, they need to be able to break the two-layer defense that the Lakers are playing. Which is that, you know, perimeter with the drop coverage, the kind of that, you know, Davis is doing. Which is going to be relying on Jokic. But not just Jokic, but the, the guys who will be kicked out to when Jokic gets attacked. Will those guys be able to play and, you know... Okay, help Jokic out and I want to say yes but I think this is truly going to be a seven game series it's going to be a coin flip like I really don't know who's going to win this I'm going to be honest I don't know who's going to win this I think this is a seven game series unless someone gets hurt if someone gets hurt I could see it being less but if everyone's healthy seven game series I want to say Nuggets in my heart like so bad i want to say the nuggets in my heart but i'm gonna go the los angeles lakers in seven because in a seven game series i just can't bet against lebron james and i'm not even a lebron fan like that like i like the guy but i'm, I'm like not a lakers fan like i want the nuggets to win like truly i want the nuggets to win and i'm trying not to be biased here i think this is gonna be a seven game series and I think it would be like incredibly disrespectful of me if I were to be like, hey, I if I don't tell you what I'm truly thinking. So in my heart, I want the Nuggets and I think the Nuggets will win this in seven. But in my head, if it goes to seven, it'll be the Lakers.